Yes. So that was like the core focus of the book that bridges to the title, Rivers Are Coming, which is this is also in the introductory chapter where the title was inspired by the song Change Is Gonna Come by Otis Redding. You know, he starts off by saying, I was born by the river. And the reason why I chose this title, Rivers Are Coming, is because to me, a river is an endless flow. I think about how life in itself is an endless flow and change in itself is an endless flow. Transformation is an endless flow. And so what does it look like to invite this endless flow of healing and transformation into my life? And so that's where the idea of rivers are coming came in because the whole concept is change is coming. And I'm going to invite that change into my life. And like I said, I wrote the book around a time where I was going through immense change. I spent years rediscovering myself, understanding myself, and then stepping into a place of transition of what does life look like? I had literally just graduated from my graduate program with my master's in social work. That was a year out when I was writing it. Welcome to adulthood, right? Where now you are out of college. And so what is next? I was stepping out of therapy. What is next? You just learned so much about your life. What is next? You are on antidepressants. What is next? So really, it was just about understanding the changes that I went through and also change is still going to continue to happen. There is no like final destination. I always try to tell people that healing is a lifelong journey. It won't stop until the day we die. That might sound a bit much to people, but that is just the truth. No matter how old we are, the hope is to be committed to change. And even if you aren't committed to it, it's going to show up anyway. So brace yourself for it. It's really, it was just an invitation and a way for me to be able to connect to that river and connect to this daily practice of what it means to transform. Yeah, I love that. And made me think too about how a lot of people who are stuck in negative thought cycles, they're stuck in negative just situations. A lot of the time it's it's in part because they're finding comfort in the familiar. And that is, you know, a very valid feeling to be in, but you can't move on. You can't grow if you don't allow yourself to be open to that change. And I think letting people take a step and recognize that like this is happening, you know, like you said, the change is happening every day, even if we if we want to deny it or we want to push back, it's still happening around us and, and taking that step to just free yourself and, and recognize that it's happening. And this is this is what life is, is is such a powerful like moment of self-realization. I think it helps you become the person that you want to be and the person that you are on the path to becoming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's important to be able to just make space for it, you know, because like I said, it's going to come anyway. <laughs> and so like, how can we invite it in and make space for change and honor change when it shows up instead of feeling like we have to push it away. 